Vienna, the heart of Austria's capital. The city where the spirit of Christmas comes alive in every cobblestone and flicker of light. From the picturesque Christmas tree at Stephansplatz to the expansive Schönbrunn Palace, Vienna transforms into a winter wonderland during this festive season. We are on a mission to explore, taste, and shop at more than 10 different Christmas markets scattered throughout the city, as well as see as many city Christmas light installations that we can find. We'll dive into the heart of each market, sharing the unique details that set them apart. Feast your eyes on exquisite Christmas ornaments, indulge in mouth-watering local treats, and explore treasures each market has to offer. But tread lightly, for some are mere tourist traps. Join us as we unwrap the enchantment of Vienna's most iconic Christmas markets and discover the Yuletide wonders that await in every corner of this historic city. Christmas Market at Steffensplatz. The market was the easiest to get to and find since it wraps around St. Stephen's Cathedral, one of the most iconic buildings in Vienna. The market is in a very popular area in Vienna, right off the train line, and can be best described as medium-sized. We also noted that the prices here were higher than average and compared to the other markets we visited. We did visit on several occasions during both day and night, and would have to say the crowds were overall higher here, especially at night, probably due to the area being such a high tourist area. Old Viennese Christkindl Market. This market was on the smaller side, but surrounded by gorgeous backdrop of historical architecture, fountains, and statues. It was located between two other markets, each of which were about two blocks away, so plenty of Christmas to go around. The majority of stalls throughout our Christmas market tour were filled with beautifully handmade products from ornaments and holiday decorations to tasty treats. When it comes to the holiday drinks, there is an upcharge or deposit for the mugs of your beverage of choice, which you can get back once you return the mug or keep it as a souvenir. I should also note that each market has their own spin and theme on the mugs as well. Christmas Village on Maria Theresen Square. Once again, we were surrounded by the most beautiful backdrop for this market, only this time surrounded by museums, as this market had a museum on each side at the front of the museum quarter itself. All of this architecture only added to the ambiance to an already magical market. Fun fact, the snow globe was invented in Austria, so we were happy to see plenty of options to pick one out as a souvenir. It was very mesmerizing just looking at all of the craftsmanship that obviously went into creating these beautiful products. One of our favorite snacks tried for the first time was here, Langos, I hope I'm saying that right, 
which you can kind of compare to an elephant ear, but with many more options from plain garlic sauce to pizza flavor to sour cream and cheese. The Viennese Dream Christmas Market. We finally made it to Vienna's largest holiday market sat in front of the Viennese City Hall, which looked like a palace and a cathedral combined. There's so much more to the dream market than just the Christmas stalls. From lights and food, to rides like a Ferris wheel and merry-go-round, One minute you're walking through a park alone and the next you're surrounded by crowds of people as if at a music festival. This was easily one of our favorite markets, in part because of the sheer scale and variety of activities, but also the overall feeling of the season, which included an ice rink with accompanied holiday classic songs. Seeing so many beautifully hand-painted ornaments, which I originally thought was a photo backdrop, got me thinking that it would be impossible to pick just one as a souvenir. Visiting the markets at daytime, especially on a weekday, was way less crowded but just note you'll be missing out on all of the lights. I would highly recommend doing your shopping during the day and going back for the atmosphere at night and maybe some tasty treats. This delicious doughy snack is a must try. We tried it with cinnamon and sugar, but feel free to add your favorite toppings. We took our snack to the ice rink to enjoy the music, lights, and just watching the skaters go by. There are also plenty of activities for the kiddos, including a mini ice rink to learn on, the merry-go-round, balloons, a kid's train, an animatronic show, and even a warming hut for the families. Walking through this beautifully lit path, we came across handmade dioramas set to music. And we were pleasantly surprised when the lights went out and this light-up heart emerged from a clock tower and traveled to a nearby tree lit up with dozens of smaller heart lights. Lights on Graben. After walking through Vienna during the day, I could not wait to see the lights at night. Although we had to wait a couple of days as they did not turn on until the exact middle of November. Some of the lights you see here also go down some of the side streets, so it's definitely worthwhile to wander a bit and follow the light.
It was nice to see the variety of lights throughout the city in both size, shapes, and color. Christmas Market at Spittleberg. Stroll through and around this one to two blocks of walking streets with local merchants and see what they have to offer. This was another one of our favorite markets. As much as we loved the Dream Market for its size, this smaller, more local feel to this market put it in our top two. We tried our first punch here, which is your hot wine mixed with a little bit of liquor. Because we could not stop after one, we definitely tried more flavors. Some other treats to discover here were flavored nuts, meat and cheeses, potato dishes, and of course the giant pretzel. Christmas Village at Belvedere Palace. Another amazing backdrop for a Christmas market at the palace. And the lights reflecting off the water was the perfect welcome. We only visited this market at night where we tried a very delicious snack. This was more of a medium sized market comparatively with some great stalls to visit. In fact, we found a perfect handmade porcelain ornament. Once again, the punch was a win in our books. Not only were there great flavor options, but it was the perfect warm up. Weinhachtmarkt am Hof. Next to the old Vienna market and close to the Albertina Museum. This smaller market still invites you in with its amazing architectural backdrop and festive lights. We were able to easily, when not distracted by the antiques and other stalls, walk through this market in about five minutes. We made it here quite a few times during our time in Vienna, trying different things, including another delicious langos. Lights on Rothlimstride. This road caught our eyes from day one with its incredibly oversized red ornaments that took up so much space above the road. Lit up at night was even brighter, especially since it was one of the only streets I noticed that had a pop of color. We definitely walked down many times. Winter Garden at Museum Quarter. Another smaller market within the Museum Quarter, which was located right near the Leopold Museum. The large projections on both sides of the market were cool to see and gave this market a more modern feel with a bit less of the pine trees and twinkle lights and more vibrant music and games, like this version of what looked like curling meets shuffleboard. Christmas Market at Schönbrunn Palace. 
This was one of the largest markets on the outskirts of Vienna and is definitely worth the train ride as it is set in front of this beautifully stunning palace. We only came here once, but made an afternoon of it by touring the palace and grounds first and then ended on the market itself. With over 80 vendors, you will most likely find what you're looking for here. As this was our last day, we spent a lot of our time picking out some great souvenirs and getting our last tastes of the markets. This included a giant pretzel and some flavored almonds. A tip to consider when going to the markets is to make sure to bring cash with you as most stalls only take cash. Some of the bigger markets like this one did have ATMs, but you never know. Be prepared. Lights on Kartnerstab. This walking street had lots of shops to check out, but I think the lights stole the show, along with the carol singers and musicians that we ran into along the way. Lights on Maria Hilferstraub. Found more outside the Ring Road of Vienna, we found ourselves surrounded by more local shops and people with streets lined with the stars and wreaths. It's a shame that we didn't get to see them lit up at night since we were only here during the daytime. This was a bit longer of a walking street, so stopping for a delicious sausage roll along the way was an added bonus. Some other Christmas markets. Prater Park. Reisenradblatt's Winter Park gave off more of a tourist vibe and felt less authentic from our view. It was probably not worth the visit unless you want to take a ride on the oldest operating Ferris wheel or walk through an eclectic amusement park that will most likely be closed at this time of year. The Advent Market, which is located outside of St. Charles Church, appeared to be a medium-sized market with very unique stalls. But because it was one of the last markets to open for the season, we missed this one entirely. Based on what we observed during the setup, we would recommend the visit. The campus of University of Vienna Christmas Market is near the Voldovich Church and the Sigmund Freud Museum. This market is part of the college campus, so stall and vendors may not have your typical market feel. This one did not impress us as the others did, and unfortunately, we forgot our camera this day. Thanks for watching and please share your thoughts and what your favorite stops at your Christmas markets have been.